coming up on this spooktacular Halloween update. We'll be sharing all what's been revealed for Thought Park Fright Nights 2022, including maze details, entertainment details, and my thoughts on this year's event. It's time for another spooktacular Halloween update on Ghost Shell YouTube channel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am the C-H-A-L-L, Dongster Born, but built for theme parks, and your theme park journalist worldwide. Today, we have a Halloween update located from Thought Park Resort on the brand new, newly revealed Thought Park Fright Nights lineup for 2022. It has all gone down over social media over the last few weeks. I wanted to wait until the full lineup was out and share my thoughts. Shout out to the park, by the way. Shout out to Thought Park Resort, because they did say they did like my videos. So shout out to Thought Park Resort. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get down there for the media event for Thought Park Fright Nights this year in October. But before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell to never miss YouTube video. Check all the socials in the description down below. And for now, guys, let's have a look at Thought Park Fright Nights 2022 in full. So we have a Last Dance maze, a returning award-winning maze, and two new experiences for 2022 in terms of scare maze and scare experiences, as it says on the website of the island like no other. So let's start off with our two new things for 2022. Starting off and kicking off with survival games. Now, survival games are coming, giving you the opportunity to prove your worth and elevate your social status. Will you choose the path to victory, or will it be game over in this gruesome scare maze? Of course, with all of these attractions, a paid ticket is required. Now, this sounds like, to me, one of those sort of free-roaming mazes. From the description, anyway, this sounds like um, a real free-roamer where it's like you make the choices and you get your consequences kind of thing. So it sounds like this could go down any path, any route. Uh, you could get any kind of scare possible. And it seems like this is definitely one maze that could go any which way, depending how many times you go down. And it feels like, from the description, it feels like with this particular maze, every single route has a different ending. You get a different experience every single time you go through this maze. So. I'm really excited about survival games and I'm really happy they decided to go with that particular theme because for me, something like survival games where it's like a like a Hunger Games style where it's like last one wins and the rest of you die and you know that whole sort of uh, escape horror feel kind of uh, atmosphere with this particular attraction. So big up to Thought Park for this particular theme because I love the theme and the story behind it as well. So that is Survival Games. Let's move on to new attraction number two. This is an audio scare experience called The Terminal. Pack your bags and enter your Cripo pot, Creo pot aboard The Terminal for a one-way trip to an intergalactic utopia. Sit back and close your eyes and prepare for a new out-of-this-world audio scare experience. And again, pay ticket required. So again, this sounds very interesting as well. This sounds to me like very much audio based and it's very much the, like follow the sounds kind of thing. Um, it, I don't think it is, but when I first saw the description, I was like, this sounds a bit like VR, uh, VR kind of thing, which I don't think it will be, but you could see what I mean with the VR kind of feel where it's like sit back, close your eyes, and prepare for a new out of this world audio scare experience. It sounds like you're all in like one room or something or in like several rooms. This, I, you know, I, I did acting, so I used to watch a lot of, well, a little bit of promenade theatre where basically the scenes like spin and move around you. So it's like you're in a certain section. You move like a curtain or a wall or a, or a moving door or something and suddenly you're in the second scene. So it feels like you're going to wear some kind of headsets and be blindfolded, like a blindfold maze. But it has a touch of promenade theatre about it where you move from one scene to the next with literally just a quick turn or something like that. Um, or it could be as simple as just a, as just a one route maze. You're wearing a blindfold, you hold on to like a guide rope, and you're literally led through with just the sounds. It could be just that. Um, or it could be kind of like the singularity at York Maze Hallow Screen, where it's like you go through an intergalactic setting, maybe with some headsets on, and you hear some noises around you, you get told this story where you get scared at the same time. So uh, it could be a cross between a blindfold maze and an audio 
uh, walkthrough kind of thing, uh, which I'm very interested about. This one's a very intriguing one, so I really want to get down there to this year's event to try out the terminal, especially because it sounds very, very interesting. But let's go on to maze number three, and for this one, it's the final cut. Creek Freak Massacre, the final cut. With their livelihood at stake and the threat of demolition looming over the sawmill, the bonkers buckwheats have cranked up the chaos for one final rampage in this terrifying scare maze. Again, Creek Freak, it was a very popular maze for a good few years now. And with Project Exodus, the brand new uh, hyper coaster set to come to the park in the next few years, uh, they will need this particular site. So of course it is the end for Creek Freak Massacre. But I'm sure with the past reviews of this particular maze, they're going to give it one final bit of chaos uh, on its way out. So uh, it is a maze that people will never forget in its time at Fright Nights. And, you know, long behold, it's going to get replaced by this brand new sort of refurbishment of the area with this brand new roller coaster looming over the site. And, um, you know, if they can get a, few, a, few, a couple of, you know, planning things, uh, then we'll see construction start in the next year or so. But, um, you know, for Creek Freak, this is the end of the journey, and I'm sure they're going to go out with one final bit of Woodland Rampage. Let's go into our final maze for Thought Park Fright Nights. It is Trailers, back for another year. Witness the power of film come to life in trailers. No fear will go unmissed as you find yourself stuck inside an even more intense, never-ending loop of terror in this spooky scare maze. This won a lot of plaudits last season, and again, trailers, it's good to see it back. I'm sure they'll ramp up the scares even more, uh, and I'm sure it's going to be a very, very nice... Um, you know, introduction to um, the, 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 the event this year. I think it's going to be nice to introduce a new level of scares this year uh, compared to last year. So I'm really, really uh, looking forward to that. So let's move into the next thing, which is our full set of scare zones and roaming creatures. So first up, going along with the Creek Freak Maze, the final cut, it's Creek Freaks Unchanged, retur ret Unchained returning for another year. An uncertain future lies ahead of a Creekwood sawmill, forcing the Buckwheats to flee their land. This year, the deranged family are roaming the island looking for sweet revenge. Of course, the, all of them are included with your park entry. So Creek Freaks Unchained, again, sounds like roaming characters around the section, and it's going to be very, very interesting to see. Uh, how this particular one goes. So I'm really looking forward to um, to really seeing um, you know how the the roaming family ramp up the scares around the surrounding area this year. I think it's going to be very very interesting, and I'm really really looking forward to it. Now let's go into our next one: Amity High versus Lycanthorpe. Uh, graduation sucks, really. It's graduation night for the students of Amity High, but the two schools could put their different side or will there be bitter rivalry overpower the celebration and end the night with a tragedy in this freaky scare zone. So again, this is back for another year. Uh, got some real plaudits last time, and again, it should be interesting to see what happens with that one. I think there's a real um, show feel about it. I think it's got very much a show theatrical style about it. I know it has in previous years. Um, so for me, I think the Thought Park's going to really play on that theatrical horror style uh, with this particular story, and uh, it should be interesting to see how that goes. Let's go into our third one, the award-winning Crows are back in town. Venture even deeper into the cursed village of Morkin Meadow and unearth the origins of the infamous Crows. Trek through the fields of the corn and hope your presence goes unnoticed. So the Crows of Morkin Meadow, this is a brand new twist on an award-winning zone. Uh, now, like I said, this could be a very interesting concept to see how they uh, really play on the Morkin Meadow story. Uh, but the Crows did very, very well last year from what I hear, and I'm really looking forward to seeing them this year. Now, let's go into our new... Uh, roaming zone and characters for 2022. So this is Death's Doors. Venture into the locksmith's lair and come face to face with 21 daunting doors, each hiding a sinister secret. Will you dare to enter this scare zone and knock on Death's Doors? So this is a very interesting concept. We've got no idea where this is going to be. Uh, I'm very interested to see where it will be and I'm personally really looking forward to seeing what they're going to do with this and for me i feel like um this could be a real um a real interesting 
uh, addition to the uh, event this year. So let's move into two gruesome shows for Fright Nights this year. So first up, the class of Amity High and Lycanthorpe will come together to form a flash mob music and dance. Uh, so of course that will be sort of maybe in between show, uh, in between the um, graduation sucks zone. Um, like a little flash mob here and there from time to time. And then also we've got the birthday bash where you're invited to Hattie and Hugo's 21st birthday bash. But these are no ordinary twins. Don't be fooled by the bright balloons and shimmering streamers. So again, this sounds like a very interesting, gruesome show. Uh, birthday bash. Now to give you some prices for Fright Nights. Uh, park entry including Fright Nights online is £39 per person. On the day is £59 per person. Uh, now park entry into Fright Nights plus the three scare mazes is £66 online per person and £89 on the day up to. Uh, so with the first one, £39 online and £59 on the day, you get 11 hours entry to Fright Nights, access to all the rides, uh, free entry to scare zones, shows included, island return guarantee, limited capacity, pre-book to guarantee entry. Uh, you save £20 per person or up to online. That's a day and evening ticket. The other one, plus the three scare mazes, you can save up to £23 per person. So again, 11 hours entry to Fright Nights, all rides, pre-book to guarantee entry, limited capacity, island return guarantee, free entry to the scare zones, shows included, three scare mazes entry, save up to 23, 23 pounds per person versus on the day entry and buying scare mazes individually. And of course they're recommended for ages 13 uh, up. Now the park entry including the fearsome four, that's the three scare mazes and the experience, um, online 76 pounds per person and on the day is 96, up to 96 pounds. Again, you get all of the above, including the scare experience entry as well. And again, recommended for ages 13 plus. And you do save up to 23 pounds per person once again. Finally, an overnight stay with a two day park entry ticket online from 89 pounds per person. You get entry to Fright Nights, access to the rides, the scare zones, shows, one hour unlimited fast track, one hour unlimited scare maze entry, and one hour unlimited scare experience entry. And that's on site hotel breaks with the Fright Nights perks at the Thorpe Shark cabins. Um, now, of course, in terms of individually, uh, the Terrifying Trio add on package, standard 27. Uh, pounds and for pass holes and hotel guests it is 24 pounds uh, it's a single use per person per maze to three scare mazes recommended for 13 plus you must also have a validated park entry ticket hotel stay or pass holder reservation on a fright nights event day park entry is not included in this ticket and also in the other ticket as well the first and four add-on package where it's single use per person per uh, maze to three scare mazes and the scare experience 13 plus you must hold a valid park entry ticket, hotel stay or pass holder reservation on Friday night's entry date and park entry is not included. That is £37 standard or for pass holders and hotel guests it is £32. All the, de all the details and all the information can be found on the Friday night's website at Thorpe Park Resort Dot com. Uh, it, it's running from the 30th of September to the 31st of October on selected dates with the scare attractions of course recommended for ages up to 13 plus. So let's share my thoughts on Fright Nights 2022. There we are ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages, that is the information on Fright Nights 2022. Like I said, a lot of stuff coming in this particular video. Uh, a lot of stuff to go through in this video and a lot of stuff coming up at this year's event. If Thor Park's watching this, I really want to be at your media day this year because you have a really big packed lineup of events going on this year. A big lineup of mazes. Um, the mazes sound very intriguing. Very, very excited about what they could be. Um, I think last year's event did have some plaudits. Um, I think this year could be even better. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this year's event and like I said, it's gonna be a brilliant event this year You know shout out to Jack Silkstone and everyone for covering the event this year day by day door by door reveal I've seen the social media stuff they've been doing with the door reveals So um, I'm really excited by you know, I was really excited by the reveals when they were first announced I was just waiting for the last reveal to come out so I can publish the full video of the full lineup so 
Really looking forward to it, and it's going to be really interesting to see how it all flows and how it all transitions and how it all works. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about the event this year. So that is it for this video, guys. Thought Path right now is 2022. Like I said, all the information will be on the website in the description down below this video. And for now, I am the C H A L L Dogs to Born but Built for Theme Parks, and your theme park journalist worldwide. Keep living the coaster life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a spooktacular-tastic day.